x 0 0.1 ampere. What is the greatest potential difference across the capacitor? Now, this is a situation where you could go and try to solve it by writing an expression for Q on the capacitor, and that's the current, the current with a circuit. And, and then try to figure out or what Q is as a function of time. And so find Q max and then get V max, the greatest potential difference across the capacitor. However, however, this is all unnecessary. When I max, when the, the, the current varies with time, when the charge is maximum on the capacitor, that is, when the voltage is maximum across the capacitor, I is zero. So when delta V, when charge Q is max, that is, when delta V across the capacitor is max, is maximum, then the current is zero. Current is zero. This is what we, when we discussed the uh, LC oscillations. Now, when Q equals zero, that is delta VC equals zero, then I is max. And so the energy, see, the energy at any instant in general, part of it is electric, part is magnetic. Now, at some instant, it's all magnetic. The magnetic energy is half Li squared. The electric energy is half Q square over C, or Q square over 2C. But of course, Q square over 2C is half C delta V square, where delta V is the potential across the capacitor. So we get half C delta V square. This is the electric energy, and that's the magnetic energy. The total energy is the sum. Now, at some instant, this becomes zero. The sum is always a constant. So when this becomes zero, when the electric energy becomes zero, the magnetic energy becomes maximum. And when the magnetic energy becomes zero, the electric energy becomes maximum. Of course, the energy is conserved. So the maximum magnetic energy is a total energy. And that's also the maximum electric energy is a total energy. Because when the electrical energy is maximum, the magnetic energy is 0. So the sum is the electric energy. And when the magnetic energy is maximum, that's when the electric energy is 0. So the total energy will be the magnetic energy. So the total energy will be the maximum magnetic energy or the maximum electric energy. And those must be equal. So the maximum electrical energy is the same as the maximum magnetic energy. And that's equal to the total energy of the circuit at any instant. At any instant, the total energy, which is the sum, is just equal to these. At any instant. Now, what is the total magnetic energy? It's half L I max squared. 
What's the total electrical energy? Half C delta V max squared. So those are equal. So delta V max squared is equal to I max squared times L over C. Now, L over C, L is 10 millihenry. So it's 10 to the minus 2. 10 to the minus 2. Henry. C is 10 to the minus 6 farads. So this is 10 to the minus 2 over 10 to the minus 6, which is 10 to the 4. So it's 10 to the 4 I max squared. So delta V max is the square root of that. Square root of 10 to the 4 is 10 to the 2. So that's 100. And square root of I max squared is just I max, which is 0 0.1. So it's 10 volts. So delta V max is 10 volts. So it's simply a question of conservation of energy.